<clears throat> Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Aaron the Schizophrenic, back again. Uh, do another video for you guys. I'm doing much better today. As you can see, my face looks better. still slightly swollen, but you can't really tell anymore. I'm still pretty sore, but I can smile and talk without my face hurting now. I'm not as drowsy as I was. I had a really bad infection. I could feel it all through my body. and It was horrible. But I'm better now. I've been taking antibiotics for a couple of days. And so those are helping. Thank God. If I feel much better. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe. You know, I need more subscribers. I want more people to watch my videos. So, like I said, go tell your friends, go tell your cousins, go tell your brother, your sister, tell your parents, your aunts, your uncles, tell everybody you can. Um, yeah, just just get me out there and we can start helping each other. Um, but basically, this video... Uh, anyway, uh, this video is going to be about my, I guess you would say, hatred towards people or men, more specifically, who hurt women and children. Uh, it really upsets me. Like, one time I was watching a... Uh, some show about sex trafficking and this girl got kidnapped and they tried to turn her out and gave her a couple of STDs in her mouth and throat and by the time I was finished watching it, I was beyond pissed. Like, if I could find them dudes who did it, you wouldn't find them. Cops wouldn't find them. Wouldn't nobody find them. They be eaten up by my dogs. I feed them to my damn dogs. Because uh, that shit is just... That's just wrong. Women and children are, you know, up there high on me. So, you heard a woman or child that I know? Oh, you gonna get fucked up quick. Uh, but let me get back to that in a second. Um... But one reason why I hate them is because they're basically bullies. Like, you ain't gonna molest or rape a grown man. Why you gonna do that to a female or a seven or eight year old? You know what I'm saying? So that's basically a bully. You know, because I, I, I don't fight nothing but me. I ain't gonna hit no damn. I'm about to get into that in a second. But uh, no, I'm really against that. I don't hit women. I don't spank my children. Uh, I used to spank my son, but when he got the older he got, I was like, you know, I'm not going to spank him no more. And then my daughter, <clears throat> the worst she's spanking she's ever got for me was like a little smack on the hand when she was a baby. And so I just, I'm really against that, that her hurting children and women. Uh, it's just, I really hate that crap. It pisses me off beyond pissed off. Um, I know one thing I wanted to say is <clears throat> if I was the president or I had control, oh, uh, pedophiles and rapists, well, pedophiles for sure will get the death penalty because they don't even need to be walking the earth. Now, rapists, you never know what the, he could have been drunk, could have been on drugs, who knows? But when you raping a child or you rape multiple children, nah, you need to be put to death. Straight up. And if the cops won't do it, if the government won't do it, let me let me find out you don't touch the kid. I'll fucking put you in the grave quicker than and like I said, they won't find you. You'll be in acid. You'll be in motherfucking um 
you'll be in my dog's stomach. So don't don't touch none of my kids. And when I say my kids, I mean my friends, kids, my homegirls, everybody. You touch any of them, you going down on me straight up. <clears throat> but uh, one of the reasons why I'm so adamant about the abusive stuff, because my dad, he was abusive towards my mom and us and stuff. And so he came back into my life when I was like eight or nine. And he is stupid ass trying to abuse me then. So that's all he's about is hitting thing. I bet you he wouldn't try to hit me now and knock the fire out of his ass. Yeah, I bet you he wouldn't try to put his hands on me now. But he would have tried when I was a kid. And that's why I don't fuck with my dad. He's an asshole. He's a piece of shit. Straight up. Um. And yeah, I get. I mean, I know you guys can already see this, but I will kill one in a second. Yeah, no hesitation. I wouldn't care about jail time. You touch a kid, I'm not gonna shoot you. You either gonna get choked to death or stabbed to death. I'm not gonna sit there and be nice about it. No, you're gonna get stabbed about fifty to seventy five fucking times, and I'm gonna make sure you die very slowly. You got me fucked up. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't touch no kids in front of me, man. Uh, and another thing, you know, men, they can really hurt women and kids. You know, we big and we strong and shit. You don't need to be hitting on no damn weak ass female. Unless that female is Ronda Rousey and she could beat the fuck out of you. Then no, uh, you don't need to be putting your hands on no damn female. Um, and yeah, me and my kid's mom, we argued and she fought me all the time and I never hit her, never punched her or nothing like that. But once, um, once I put her in like a chokehold because, um, she kept, uh, I was trying to calm her down and she was in the chair and I was on the floor and I was trying to calm my knees on the floor and I was trying to calm her down. And she just like repeatedly kept kicking me in the ribs in the same fucking rib. And so I'm like, let me stop this crazy bitch before she freaking breaks something or does some damage. So I put her in the headlock. That's the only thing I would do to a woman. And like I said, that's if she's about to do me some bodily harm or hurt me or break something. Then yeah. But I've been beat up by plenty of females. It it ain't nothing to me. It's funny to me. I like it. You can hit me all you want. I ain't gonna get mad. I would never put a hand on you, Tracy. You too sweet for that. You too. You, I would never touch you. you. You probably wouldn't even make me mad. We done known each other for years. We ain't got in one argument. You ain't made me mad at all. But the one time you disappeared on me, I was upset there. But anyway, back to the... Um... Yeah, I already told you guys how I would fight my dad and stuff, uh... But yeah, you know, like personally, I just want to protect women and children because, you know, I was hurt as a little kid and stuff done to me and abused and stuff by my, like my mom. And so she, uh, I didn't have nobody to protect me. I didn't have nobody to come rescue me. I had to wait till I got grown and got out the situation. I didn't get, and that's why, if you look up like, OCD, anxiety, and depression, it all comes from like child abuse. So you can actually look that up because I looked it up myself to see. And I like most of my conditions is from uh, child abuse. So that's why I, I treat my kids good. Ain't that right, Ariana? Yeah, we, we cool. Me and my, we friends and, and dad and stuff. I don't want to be just one of them strict dads. You know what I'm saying? I want my kids to love me. I want them to have good memories of me. I want them to be happy. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, one time, this guy told my kid's mom that he was going to fuck her. Like he, like, he was just gonna do it. And so my son was there, too. 
And see, I didn't hear about it till the next day. And so the next day I couldn't get a ride over there. So I was like flaming mad all day long. And so I finally got a way over there that evening. And, uh, yeah, I, I went over there and beat, beat the shit out of them. Because I was beyond pissed. Don't say no shit like that to my kids, mom, in front of my kids. Don't do no shit like that. And that's why you got your ass beat. I ain't going to drop your name. But if you see my face, you going to shit a brick, little nigga. Straight up. Uh, but that's it. That's me talking about uh, how I want to hurt children and uh, women abusers. You know, that's just the wrong to me to touch a woman or a child. Um, so if somebody's fucking with you, come holler at me. We'll get this shit squared away and figure something out. I got your back. Um, so yeah, like I said, you guys go subscribe, go like my videos, go view my old videos. Just check me out. Um, you never know who I could help. Go ahead and share me. Share me with as many people as you can, you guys. Uh, like I said, I just want to help and get people to know that you're not alone out here. Um, yeah. So you guys have a good day. Uh, have a good evening. It's beginning out of work week, so I hope you guys have a good work day tomorrow. <clears throat> and you guys have a good night. Um, and y'all do. God bless you. Deuces. <laughs>